What's up, y'all? Back again. This time, I got some things to talk about. First, let me just say yesterday was a really, really, really good day. I had so much fun with the family. We went to Stars and Strikes out here in Atlanta, and it's a bowling alley slash arcade. So, we got out there, we started bowling, child, and I thought I was going to open up a can of whoop-ass, and my can just didn't open. <laughs> I, I didn't whoop no ass, but my auntie, she opened up her can and she laid it on us. Mind you, they came late, so we was already in our groove. And then she come in like she the captain of her own bowling league. And I'm like, good Lord, we just playing for fun. You know what I'm saying? And so, <laughs> but you can tell. She been doing her insanity because she was throwing them balls like they was in the finals and they was about to win a championship ring and her ball was going to be the winning ball. <laughs> but it was so much fun and we laughed and laughed. I even tried to imitate her but I ain't had that kind of swag so I couldn't, I couldn't do it good but <laughs> we had fun. I had to leave early though because I had to go to school so I was able to play for about an hour. Almost two hours, and by the way, I'm majoring in journalism, and I want to become my own talk. Well, I want to have my own talk show, but if that doesn't work out, then I want to be a radio personality, and that's fun too. That'll be really fun. Then after that, I left school. I got home. I did my insanity workout, and y'all, I'm so in shit. Okay, just to be real, I'm sore. But I'm going to keep pushing through it because I got to lose some of these thighs, honey. Like I told y'all, these thighs got a mind of their own. And I got to lose some. I got to lose some weight. So I did my insanity workout. I took a shower, relaxed. Turned on the TV because I got a DVR because I got kids. So I can't watch stuff when it come on. But I can't always catch up on my stuff. Saw the foolery that Evelyn was displaying. She just don't she she don't never disappoint. She just don't never disappoint. She always coming up with some type of beef, some type of drama, some type of fight and some throwing she don't child who who was the one that even mentioned the balls? Who was that? Was was that Tammy or was that Shiny? Who was the one that even mentioned the balls? Because y'all just said that was y'all playing that. It was no reason why Evelyn to throw that bottle at her. She was not going to do nothing to her. Child. Let's just go back a little bit. Because they started, they began the show with them still outside. And just finishing up that part. And Kenya kind of... Kenya wasn't holding her ground good enough. You know, you can tell that Kenya that got, got a little bit of feistiness in her, but she was a little timid, you know, because Tammy and Evelyn can be a, can maybe, I can see why they can be a little intimidating, especially when you a fan like she is, you can tell she's a fan, and, you know, she don't want to disappoint them. It feels, you know, she don't want to disappoint them. And I honestly think that when Keisha came out there and called her out like that, I think it kind of caught Kenya off guard because she probably forgot about it. She probably forgot she even said that. And Keisha, I don't, I don't know why Keisha thinking she, Keisha, yeah, Keisha got her little one point on the board or whatever like that. But Keisha, honey, you, you ain't too far from getting yours, okay? Because we don't know about your ass neither. I don't know about your ass. I personally like Kenya more than I like Keisha. Because to me, Keisha is... Keisha is fake. Keisha is... I don't know what I don't know how to describe her. Because to me, you stand up and you say, yeah, King said you was loose. And then run because she's taking off her shoes. But she ain't even got up yet. Child. Because you had time. If she really wanted you, she could have caught you. You were, you weren't doing I'm standing right there. You weren't doing I'm standing right there. A couple feet away from her. She could have hopped and grabbed you. Child. So I don't know about Keisha. I don't know about Keisha. I don't think I like her. Because I just don't even like how that was set up. I don't like how that was set up. Because everybody knows Evelyn is damn loose. 
you know, who cares? And Evelyn trying to act all brand new because Keisha said it. Okay, so what? Loose? That shit, that's good compared to what some people done said about Evelyn. So come on now, let's not act brand new. Who cares? Who fucking cares? You're supposed to be in a happy relationship. You're supposed to be with your man. He's supposed to be doing his, you know, y'all. he's supposed to be making you happy and stuff. And you sit here worried about somebody calling you loose. So what? And that Susie and those food stamps. I'm so glad Tammy took the time out to be patient with Susie. Because Susie crossed the line. You can tell that she's an unstructured bitch. You can tell she don't have no manners. You can tell she don't have no type of respect for anybody. You can tell that. She's just scary. And she played this whole thing like, oh, I'm so sorry, Tammy. I'm so sorry. You know, like, put the drink down, bitch. If you can't control your liquor, then you may not need to drink in public. You know what I'm saying? You may need to hold that for when you go home. Because you, you don't know how to act. And you are loose cannon. You and Evelyn are loose. You feel me? And then I like how Evelyn kept throwing. I like, <laughs> I like how Evelyn kept throwing Susie in it. You know, because she was like, I'm a grown ass woman. You know, I do what the fuck I want to do. Yes, I fuck. Don't you, Susie? You fuck. Like, shit. Okay, but I ain't loose. <laughs> I want to be like, shit. She ain't called me loose, though, Evelyn. <laughs> I really did like how Evelyn kept. She did that twice. So I like how Evelyn kept throwing Susie in there. <laughs> Evelyn better wanted not to be the only one that was loose, but we all know you the top loose one. <laughs> we found out that when you met Tammy and had to sit back and think and put two and two together and realize I slept with her husband. <laughs> now you know you lose if that if that happens, because that don't happen too often. <laughs> but any who let's talk about the whole Jennifer and Royce thing I'm not sure how I feel about that to be honest I personally think that Royce you know I don't think Royce is needy of the cameras but I personally think that since she on the show she want to have something some type of spice you know she want to do something you know not so much being any drama but she got to show her face, you know. So, I can see why she would want to meet with Jennifer, but I don't see why Jennifer would want to meet with her. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the type of person now, I'm the type of person, when I say stuff about people, yeah, sometimes I'll be like, damn, I should have never said that. And sometimes I may apologize, but that's just if I have, if I have contact with you, you know, on a regular basis. But I'm not going to sit there and try to want to be your friend. Because to me, I feel like shit. We don't, we don't went across that line. We don't broke that boundary. So, you know, you may feel like shit at any time. You may cross the line with me. They do say keep your enemies closer. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. But I guess we'll see that play out. I don't, I don't personally think that Roy should, you know, give Jennifer another chance because I think the only reason that chance is even happening now because she's not cool with Evelyn and Evelyn want to beat that ass. But other than that, I don't see why they would, why, why they would want to work it out, why they would want to talk it out. You know, because she said what she said, and she said what she said at the reunion, and she said she she said what she said at the at the at the other reunion. So. I don't know about all that. I don't know. All I know is is that those women never disappoint and they always bring the foolery. And that's why I love them. That's the only reason why I watch them. Because I don't watch to get any type of lesson. <laughs> no. But um, other than that, I think the Atlanta Housewives, they kind of boring. I don't really have anything to say about them. They kind of boring. It's just boring. They're not really doing anything. I don't know what's gonna happen with them after this season. I really, sh I really think they should, they should drop Sheree, drop her, drop Candy, drop her, please. Candy just need to resign, honestly. And um, Kim, Kim, sh Kim look like she about to leave, and then Nene look like she about to leave, and then Phaedra gonna be the only one left. 
Oh yeah, Cynthia. But don't nobody care about what Cynthia doing, cause Cynthia is just going through her troubles with her sister, and I don't know what's going on with her sister, but I don't want to talk about that because that that don't seem right to me. That it is, I don't know what to, I don't have an opinion on them because I don't understand the whole relationship. You know, I don't understand why her sister's so mad. I don't understand that. I can see that that I can see that Peter is disrespectful, but. I don't see why she has to have these outbursts and these, you know, these breakdowns and meltdowns and shit, you know, in public and shit. Like, come, control yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, control yourself. Because you ain't going to be able to go nowhere else with me. You keep acting like this. High, high wind certificates and shit. Like, good lord. Like, oh my goodness. And I like how Cynthia came back. You know, I was very proud of Cynthia. Good job, Cynthia. I she came back and said, you know what I don't like? I don't like I don't like your marriage. Or something she was trying to put she was trying to throw some some type of salt out there. You know what I'm saying? She was trying to spill the tea. And she would and her sister would not let her go there. She kept interrupting her. No, no, no. We we ain't talking about that. We ain't we ain't talking about that. Oh no, nah, bitch, we don't talk about it today. And I would have just kept talking. I would have just laid it on out there. You want to put my shit out there? Let's put your shit out there. But you know, whatever, whatever. So we don't. I don't know where that Atlanta housewife going, but they need to go somewhere. Um, other shows I like. Lala, she she's doing better this this season. I mean, she's not really interesting, but it's good to just watch her because it's no drama. You know, it's just normal. It's just normal and. It's really comforting to see, you know, her and her friends and I don't know, and Kelly. I love Kelly Rowland and you know, just some just no drama, just something that's chill and that can just make you laugh and smile. It's 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 nice to have that. And then Style by June that came on and I didn't really watch that. I kinda of fell asleep. But I do I do watch her. And I do like her show, and I think she got a lot of style. And she also styled X Factor, the X Factor contestants, and I think the judges. So, that's it for right now. I really didn't want to get into nothing because I wanted my co host to come with me and talk to, and we talk about some serious issues. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Peace.